Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtuta Channel. Uh, brand new arrival, brand new arrival from Hong Kong uh, once again, just from a couple of weeks ago. And uh, now I've got these two in my hands. The uh, from Impossible Perfect, the Hoonigan RWB964 US, based in US. Uh, that's why we have the flag up front and also the uh, real scale memory um, Super 9 RWB. Uh, Hong Kong number nine exciting exciting okay so I'm recording this in uh, 8k actually so I'm just trying out uh, the 8k recording so that you guys can actually watch this in a uh, full HD um, so that I can share with you guys the crazy ass details on these things so let's look at the uh, RWB Hoonigan first okay so uh, shout out to Hui um, his Instagram handle is Hui underscore RWB993 uh, he's the one that's helping me out with uh, the homework, so to say, the homework for all of these RWB cars. Uh, his knowledge on RWB is really freaking crazy. Uh, do give him a follow on Instagram, okay? Um, Hui, H-U-Y underscore RWB993. I'll link, uh, I'll put up his link in the description box below. Okay, you can check him out after this video. Okay, so Hoonigan is um, uh, based in uh, US. It's one of the first two RWBs that is made um, in, in America. And uh, after I made a couple more, uh, I mean, uh, research, reading up a little bit more, and also sharing from Hui, I only found out that actually, um, there are actually three, three RWBs that was made at the same time in US, uh, which was the Pandora one, okay, the green one right at the back there, okay, which I've shared with you guys previously. And then there's the Hoonigan, white. And then there was actually a gray, uh, gray RWB 993. Um, which was actually named Pandora 2. Uh, however, it seems that that uh, that Pandora 2 has never reappeared after SEMA, I think 2011. So not sure what happened to it, but that you know becomes even more interesting. Um, however, based on uh, sort of videos that I've I've watched on uh, YouTube, um, it is also uh, kind of um, known that. This is the only uh, RWB in America left in its original form um, because the, the Pandora one right right now um, I heard what I what I gathered is it's uh, the nose is changed to an older uh, looking uh, version of the 964 the long nose um, and then uh, if I'm not mistaken the colors has changed as well so yeah prob and then you know with the gray 993 not be not not being seen anywhere this could possibly the only be the only rwb in its uh, original form um the first rwb not just in us but also the first rwb outside of japan okay so uh pretty standard packaging okay compared to the super 9 okay we'll take a look at that later so these are all uh, limited to 300 pieces um per variant okay so up until here i did a bit of shortcut so i've already removed one from the base so this is my this one is my own uh will go into my own um, collection okay so this will be 964 number what uh number nine one two three four five six seven eight yes this will be rwb 964 number nine from impossible perfect so yeah if you ask me, I really like um, the paint on this. Um, basically, this is actually, it's not just white, it's actually pearl white. Okay, that, that explains, you know, a little bit of that glow. Okay, it's a pure white, but uh, the, uh, who is this, Brian Scott, the owner, decided to throw on a pearl on the pure white. So that's why it looks so freaking crazy. So Hoonigan is a brand in um, US, from what I understand, it's actually... Uh, something uh, a name we call uh, people who are really crazy about cars uh, who would go all the way out um, um, for cars okay so you can read up a little bit more about them when you google um, Hoonigan okay so uh, this this was actually made um, when um, to, to actually launch Hoonigan at a time look at that I really like the Hoonigan stickers on the back and also on the uh, the, the GT wing Nice, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I really, really, really like the white on this thing. The pole white. It's freaking nuts, man. Okay, the Hoonigan uh, logo up front, where the number plate is supposed to sit. Nice. Okay, got it. Oh, there we go. 
Nice. I really like how it's that white and red combination. Um, then we have some stickers, sponsor stickers on the spoiler, but uh, they're so small. They're not really smudged per se, but they're probably someone's logo, so I can't really tell what, what, what is written up there. Okay, on this side as well. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Definitely going on my permanent collection. Okay. So that's the Hoonigan. And then next um, is the Super 9. Okay. So this actually comes in a box set. Um, they made a bit more of these. Uh, they made a thousand of this um, in collaboration with um, the owner, uh, JY. Okay. So uh, he's based in Hong Kong. He's RWB number 9. Hence the name um, Super 9. Okay, that, that's what I gathered and uh, based on sharing from Hui, um, this is the third, uh, so to say the third uh, version of um, Super 9. The first one was a plain blue and white, that was the first version and then the second version with that uh, Hong Kong flower uh, emblem logo thing. Okay, so this would be the latest one with a Super 9 uh, writing and uh, this is one of the crazy, one of the more craziest looking um, RWB, very iconic RWB that, that uh, is, is uh, in, on the road at the moment. Okay, so this is actually a box set. Alright, so on the side it says MCE, Model Car Mall, okay, RSM, Real Scale Memory. Um, okay, what, what else can we see here? So on this side it's the same, but the back, I really like that window effect. Okay, on this thing, that's really pretty cool. Okay, underneath uh, MC and RSM logo again, copyright and manufactured by RSM. Okay, all right. So, I'm really very interested to find out, um, you know, uh, that, that turbo fan effect. Okay, so yeah, at the back, it's really a window kind of thing. So, just to show you, yeah, this is how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna put the sleeve aside, or maybe I can just leave it here. Okay, cool with that. All right, so this one it's a magnetic, magnetic um um thing lock, so to say. So when you open it up, okay, this is how it looks like on the inside. It comes with a little magazine. Um, this is actually stuck onto it. So this is this is actually like a box set, uh thing. Um, quite similar. It reminds me because I'm a Hot Wheels guy, so I was. Uh, a Hot Wheels nut. Um, this kind of reminds me of uh, the Sweet Rod, the Skyline Sweet Rod. Okay, it comes in a magazine. Um, this actually attached to the box box itself, and then, voila! Here we go, the masterpiece. Um, so on this side, uh, it's it's a holder, car holder in black velvet. Okay, that gives it a very premium feel to it. And then there's a uh, metal plate. RWB Super 9 number four zero uh zero four one six of 1,000 pieces. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, and then um, the car, it's packed in uh, plastic as well. I think this is to, you know, uh, avoid scratches. Okay, so let's just check out what we have in the book. So that's the owner, JY. Okay, I think um, he's on Instagram as well. Uh, so do... Uh, I'll try to link him up in, in the... Uh, uh, what is this in the in the description box below as well okay he's on instagram he did post out a photo where um he did sign a version of this and he owns number three <laughs> so mine is very far away number 400 okay all right so let's just uh take a quick look on the inside it's an introduction of uh, mce mall limited okay and then um pretty much it's a photo book all right there's a couple of very very nice photo shoot of the uh, Super 9. Okay, that's the turbo fan. Um, so this is a little bit of write up on the uh, the RWB. Okay, there are currently about 500 RWB cars in the world. Only RWB car is really tough task since it takes at least two to three years to complete. Uh, each region is numbered sequentially, and RWB Super 9 is the ninth RWB Porsche in uh, Hong Kong, modified from a 993. Okay. So yeah, okay. Owner is uh, JY. So one of the thing that I'm really keen, really looking forward to see is how much detail um, did 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 the uh, MCE and RSM manage to put onto the one to sixty four scale because this is actually pretty pretty 
uh, crazy looking one and um, based on the couple of videos that I've watched on YouTube right so this is one of the one of the only RWB that really focus or even based uh, where, where JY actually pushed the boundaries where he went for cambering okay he's a very stance guy from uh, what I what I heard what I see so hence this is one uh, where in his words uh, quote from Nakai one of the more daring kind of uh, setup okay okay and then there is a little bit of write up on uh, Nakai-san okay uh, founded in 1999, Mr. Nakai, racing driver as well, known Japanese car tuner, international model, da, da, da. Full name of RWB is Raw Wealth Begrief in German, which means rough wall concept in English. Push, uh, it means to push a car to the realm of rough. All WB Porsches around the world are derived arts, which is hand modified. After certified uh, by Mr. Nakai, with his signature, every RWB Porsche becomes a unique rarity in the world eventually. Because cool. usually, definitely one of a kind, one of a kind, All right? So there's more uh, photos of the making of Super Nine. Okay, so there's a little bit of story on the bumper as well. Okay, so this bumper was actually uh, donated from Nakai's um, Rotana. Okay, uh, because the Rotana was going through an upgrade where it was uh, at a time where when uh, the Rotana had this bumper and then it was being upgraded to a much wider body hence this bumper don't work anymore um, and therefore this uh, bumper was donated to Super 9 okay nice very nice to see that that very iconic uh, bumper live on and that is actually something that I I really wonder uh, if they managed to pull it off on the car itself okay so that's the book okay and then now we'll take a look at the car okay like how it's designed where it has two little slots where you can put your finger in to pull it out okay i'm just gonna put this aside as well okay all right okay here we go so this one is um slightly different from all the casing that uh that uh, impossible to fact or even our uh, even MCE has done all this well. Uh, they're always in this kind of format, sleeve and um, black base. However, I think um, I dare to say this is probably the first time uh, they have did gone with the uh, the white base. Very nice. Ooh, very very nice. Very very nice. Holy shit. So JY, the owner, did comment. Um, I think two days ago. Uh, that this is really very close replica to his actual car and uh, from from the first look at it damn it looks damn freaking good man holy shit yes I think holy shit they pull it off damn it that's freaking nuts man that is freaking nuts okay so usually when we see this kind of case right um, there is always that side sticker thing which I notice this one does not have it which I like I like I like without the sticker. Yes, I know it's supposed to secure um, it to the base. This is a, a little bit loose, um, but I don't mind you know not uh, doing without the sticker when you have such a secure uh, placeholder for the car. Okay, because the sticker tends to leave some kind of stain on it. That's why I, I don't I'm not really a fan of the that that uh, sticker thing. Shit! Holy shit! Look at that. Yes, yeah, so please do select the uh, the full HD version. I think you can watch this in 4K in, uh, on YouTube now. So I'm recording this in freaking 8K and that, this is the reason why. So the first thing that really pulls me uh, to really want to find out is this freaking thing at the back. Damn! That Rotana... Oh, that Rotana bumper. Damn it. Okay, I really like that they even they even did that. You see that little small um, dots detail there. Okay, that is actually um, f pretty much uh, from what JY shared in one of his videos, right? It's actually fasteners, where you can very easily remove this bumper if you want to uh, improve, so to say, improve the cooling uh, of the engine. So he can actually at any time, uh, if he goes down to the track, he can just remove the back bumper. Uh, it's freaking crazy, yo. Okay, that's quite a nice detail there. I wonder what is that. It does look like... I don't know why, but it did look like a surfboard. 
with some design on it but uh, I guess it's not um, but there's another uh, print of RWB with um, I think that's a Hong Kong flower in there okay um, again the interior is is uh, the, the real car, right, um, based on what uh, JY shared, is, is really blue and white. A uh, crazy ass blue and white combination on the entire thing, even the interior. So, this, um, I do see blue seats, blue racing bucket seats, uh, blue steering wheel. Um, there's, there's some white details on the dashboard. That's freaking nuts, man. The amount of detail that went into this thing, man. Okay, and uh, the turbo fans, that is one of a very iconic thing about the Super 9 as well. I think it's pulled off very very nicely um there is a practical this is uh th there's a practical function to it this is supposed to uh turbo fans are supposed to cool the brake systems uh cool down the the tires um to avoid it from being you know too hot okay and the other iconic thing about super 9 is it has two different set of wheels uh on left side and right side okay so this one is on the left okay i i don't know the name of this wheel um, but it looks freaking nice because they are custom made. Um, I, I don't see the name of these wheels uh, being mentioned anywhere. Okay, but it's still freaking nuts. This thing is freaking nuts. Um, someone did ask me if I can remove that turbo fan uh, from the looks of it. Okay, I don't... Yeah, no, it's stick on to it. But you know what? Um, since I've already did... Save some time on uh, removing the white. Let's let's just unscrew this, should we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Should we? Yes, we should. Of course, we should. Come on, you're watching you Virtu Toys channel. We gotta take it out. <laughs> okay, so this screw is rather short compared to the black base ones. Okay, let's get it out. Oh man. Okay, this one definitely has more weight to it compared to the rest. Uh, of the racing models, okay. This one feels a little bit heavier in my hands. That is freaking nice. Damn. That is freaking crazy, yo. I love that door handle detail as well. Look at that. That is freaking crazy, yo. Damn. Ooh, check out that ass. Check out that. Oh, the details there. The sticker on the side. Okay, let's see if this is a sticker or... Yeah, they yeah they went with a sticker. Good try, good try. I would say it's a good try. They went with a sticker. I uh, love that, 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 that uh, vertical vents. Okay, on both sides of the back bumper. Oh, man. So there's some printing up here. Let's see if we can, we can see what, what is... No... It's just too small. The what? The bumper... Ah! Nice! This bumper was a transplant from Rotana. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Okay, what, what is what is here? Okay, pardon my eyesight, I'm getting old. I can't see... I can't see what's written on there. Yeah, it looks like it's just some sort of star design kind of thing. Okay. The exhaust details underneath, the muffler, damn, this thing freaking nuts, yo. Is there a camber to this thing? Yeah, it does look like it, it has a bit of cambering to it. That's freaking nuts. Okay, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If Let me see if I can, I, I didn't thought of this at, at first, but let me see if I can, I can uh, locate my, locate my tarmac, my die cast, um, Super Knight, and we compare it to the Raisin one. Let me see if I can. Okay, so um, I do have the tarmac one here with me. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do a quick, a quick comparison. So this one was released. I think what uh, tarmac did this, um, la what two, last year? Was it last year or two years ago? So this uh, it has Illus and Tarmac Works branding, uh, a couple of places. So um probably it's a collaboration between um tarmac and illus to make this uh super 9 version oh that's why you see the illus tarmac works logo okay even on the limited edition card 
If I'm mistaken, this was a web exclusive. Okay, it did the turbo fan as well, but uh, the wheels looks much more chrome um, than uh, white that it was supposed to be. And uh, this, oh, okay, uh, they're both sets of wheels are the same on both sides. Okay, it did. It does have that uh, detail up behind here, but if you ask me, that <laughs> the raisin model, of course, you know, raisin of course will surely beat uh, die cast. That is for sure, um, because of the level of um, details that raisin models are be able to achieve compared to compared to die cast. So I don't think it's a very fair comparison, um, but we, let's just you know, for video content sake. Okay, so the raisin model does look a little bit bigger. Okay, a little bit wider, slightly longer, slightly longer and wider. Okay, all right, let's check out the height. Yeah, the raisin model does look a little bit bigger, but uh, I'm okay because it, if it means you know to be a little bit bigger to be able to, to show all that little details I, I'm quite all right with it I am quite all right with it and then parking next to the next um, parking next to the rest of the RWBs it, it seems fine as well we're gonna make some space damn it I'm running out of space oh, okay there we go there we go <sighs> nice very very nice very very nice okay very very nice uh, collaboration uh, between RSM, uh, RSM um, MC, and also uh, JY, who owns uh, RWB Super Nine. So that's it uh, from me this time around. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, my video. Remember to hit the subscribe button, okay, and um, hit the bell button uh, so that you don't miss on any of my awesome diecast uh, and uh, scale model videos. Also, do remember to follow me on my Instagram vertutoys.mj. Uh, remember to hit up Hui, okay, uh, H U Y underscore R W B nine nine three. Cool. Okay. So that's it from me this this time around. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay safe and stay sane. Bye.